Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> Your best source for the newest Atari games. <laughs> is, that, is that a hairball coming up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. The intro's fixed. It's supposed to sound like that, Cyrano. Welcome to Zero Page. We're going to be playing some Atari 2600 games. In fact, we're going to be playing four of my favorite uh, Atari 2600 shooters. Oh, excellent. That's the theme for tonight. Okay. okay. Uh, this is part two of my favorite shooters. Gotcha. The last time we did it was in 2020. Okay, that was a little <laughs> while ago. Yes, yes. it's yes. about time I bring back my favorite series. Yeah. We did some uh, favorite platformers, favorite shooters, okay. and some other one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the games that uh, I picked for uh, my favorite shooters today are four games. <laughs> Hold up your hand. Hold up your hand. There you go. See? Completely real. See? All five fingers. See? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, a 1942, uh, Xevious, A Roach in Space, and Ms. Ms. Galactopus. Oh, nice. Okay. So we've got some very good shooters mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there, first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show and help support these kittens Get for just a dollar a day. You keep could these kittens in treats. Keep these kittens in treats. Uh, 8 bit poet, Aldifer, Andrew Atari, Armscar, Kodori, Atari 800 XL rules, Atari 974, Atari H, Atari Smash, Miss B, BR Poke Up, Bruno Stack, Charles Stunnebell, Charles Will and Chitlilla, Sierra Reboot, DNOI, Dan Avi C, Daryl 970, Dr. Moog, Cows, Emmy Dan, Glam, Gamma Dev, Gangsoft, <laughs> Great Defender Grind Trooper, Johnny WC, Shush. Uh, Kabuto Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Croco 2600, Veltifer, Lambda Express, Mandy, Sipping Tea, Markianis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Tao, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pseudographus, Koag, R, and Schwartz, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Reventula, Carter Pim, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spindly, Esmeralds, D Train, TKN, K, T, Foes, Dragon D, Tweeny, Vexor, X, Vintage Game Memories, VR Gamer for Life, and VG Double Down. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's always impressive to me that there's this much support. When I read this huge list of names, you guys must enjoy the show in some degree, mm -hmm. to, to a little bit, maybe. Yeah. yeah. To keep these cats going, you know? And yeah. uh, thank you to Carl G, who's resubscribed Yay, thank you, just Carl. before the show. Thank you so oh. much. Hello? And the cats are definitely hungry. I know this because this cat <laughs> stole some of my dinner uh, while I was getting ready. <laughs> The bowl was right here while I was getting ready. He was eating it. I came in. You I ran upstairs. I went upstairs to say hello. Yeah. And I came back down. Yum time. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, yum, yum. oh, kittens. It's treat time. I'll <laughs> Thank finish you, the Ivory story. Yeah. Actually, I'll start the bedding. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ivory Tower Collections. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We hear you. We hear you. There you go. The bedding has started. Bet Yay. on these two cats. Are they hungry? Yes, yes they, they are. are. <laughs> I come back downstairs and my food, one a piece of my food is on the floor. Like in the middle of the hallway. And unfortunately, it's got this sauce on it. It was lime. Teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce. sauce. Yeah. And it was in spots all over the floor and I had to clean it up, which is something I didn't want to do. Right just before, show. before the show, cat, yeah. and he didn't even eat it. That's the worst part. He just li licked off a little He's bit. He's like, of this "Do sauce. I like this? <laughs> no, I don't really like this." Uh, like, ITC ooh, flash broccoli. in the bits. Mm, no. <laughs> so we got some bets coming in. It's even. Ooh, oh, it's nice. evening out. Nobody's betting on Sprite Three Plus. Mm. Uh, we'll see how that works out. You might want to switch the screen just so oh, they can yes. see the. Uh, see what's going on. Yeah, the cat. Uh, so we'll be starting betting. that up. There we go. And if you can grab that box, I want to show people. Oh, this is for not this game though. Not this game, no. but we do. We have revised the treat, the treat ball game. Yeah. We now have a double sized box, so we are still experimenting with the treat ball game. So we'll do that a <laughs> little, little bit, little, little bit later in the show. Yes. And see if the big box works. Yeah. Because last show we start, we tried with two boxes and two balls. Yeah. Not that was the second iteration. The first iteration was one box and one ball in small boxes. So this is now we've gone to iteration three yep. with one big box and one, and, and one ball. So we got about 30 seconds left. Yep. Let's get these. Oh, balls are ah, going to come ah, down. Balls everywhere. Not, not yet balls. Ah. Here for later. There oh, we go. We oh, we treats. are light. 
Ooh, we boy. have some upstairs. Okay, we good. have it in a bag. Not these, not greenies, but another kind. Okay, so. that'll that'll It'll work. It'll go over. It'll go over well. Uh, about ten uh -huh. seconds left. Rage in the cage. Rage <laughs> in the cage. Nice. Cats. <laughs> it's a fight to the death. No, it's not. Oh, we might have to close the door for the cats for oh. this one. Uh, kitten, kitten, stay there. No. <laughs> He's so silly. Kitten, come on. Okay, shut it. So <laughs> You're so silly. Oh okay. Goodness. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Time's up. Time's up. Everyone's got their bats in. Everybody's Who's, got their bats. So, so where are the bats? Oh, they're pretty spread. It's pretty even except for Sprite 3 Plus. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, people have a lot of faith in Atari. Yeah, Excellent. They're, they're thinking Atari today. Yeah. Maybe because Atari he stole is, the food. He did steal the food. We do have to disclose any pertinent information. Yeah. <laughs> before the game before starts. Before the game starts and the pertinent information <laughs> was that Atari was yes. stealing food. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? On your side. Come on. Come on. Okay. You ready? Go! Oh, oh Atari, Atari is off right the out of the gate. Wow, well. these people did know. Is that a Sprite? Oh. Yep. Atari is very hungry for treats. He's hungry for winning. Come on. Oh, he's got two. He is ahead. He is taking the lead. That was a very oh. small ring by Sprite. He's yep, very but dainty. He, he did hit it. He, he did, did hit, hit it. it. Yep. Who's next? Is it going to be Atari again? He's doing very strong rings. Yep. Gets it the first time. Sprite's a little stunned, but he's... he's Hit he, it harder? There you go, baby. Do not need to encourage Sprite. He is very good at ringing. Uh, and Atari's taking a good lead now. Yeah. He's pulling ahead, actually, a little bit. He's rung the bell just after Sprite. Oh, he's being so yep. dainty. He's being... He's like, tap, 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 tap. Good. Good job. He's still leading by one. Nice. He's still in the lead quite good. And go. Sprite is tied it up 5-5. Five, five. Atari is trying. Oh, he missed it, but he got it in the end. And did it ring it three times? Oh, there we go. He, he kind of hit it when he ran past it. Sprite is still catching up. He is very... He's, oh, oh, that is it. a ring. That's that a is ring. a valid ring. Valid ring. Opposite he rang the ring. wrong bell, but it's still valid. Still Any counts. bell works. There you there go. go. Sprite. Oh. Ring Harder? it again. You got to ring it. There, there we you go. go. Atari is fully ahead. He is pretty much oh, one Sprite. ahead. Oh, oh, Sprite caught up really quick with that one. It's almost game point. Oh, oh, can Atari? Oh, oh that was Sprite. Oh, and it's and Atari. Atari. Oh. It is any cat's game now. They're both eating. They're both eating. Oh, Atari's tail is covering the bell. A Sprite's going for the other one. Who is it going to ring it first? Chaos. It's chaos. chaos. And it's... It's oh, Atari. Atari! Atari did it! Wow! Sprite stole his Sprite stole his treat. Okay, well here here's some extra treats. There wow, that was a nail biter. Whoa. <laughs> oh, down to the last ring. Both their paws were poised, poised. to win. Wow. Atari's butt was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> can't control uh, these cats. They just can't control the cats. Okay, I've got to wash my hands. Okay. <laughs> Atari's slim whisker. Very slim whisker. By just a slim <laughs> whisker. So it is Atari by one point. Wow, he's been doing well. Let's see who got that. So 27% of the bets went to Atari. One to two. And wow, a huge pot of 24,000 really? points. An ivory tower collection oh. gets it all back, plus more. He's <laughs> and the one it's Kev. He's the one who triggered it, wasn't nice. he? Nice. And good, it's Kev. Good job. Very good job, everyone. Yeah. Great work. And we'll try out the box a little bit later. Don't ring it right now because they need some time to recuperate. Some downtime. <laughs> some downtime. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Very good that stuff. That was a good game. That was that right was down. That was really good. To the last ring. Good job, cats. So pulling it, pulling it out in overtime. You so know. Let's do the poll. Um, so tomorrow, we're doing day two. Okay. Out of eleven of Martin Scorsese's full directorial dictor, directorial filmography. Um, so, yes. uh, and which includes Raging Bull and King of Comedy mm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Two very, well, I haven't seen Raging Bull, amazingly. I haven't seen, seen Raging Bull either. I've seen King of Comedy a number of times, and I swear I saw it in the theater. Really? When I was 10. Really? For some reason. That doesn't feel, I, I don't I th I feel think like. based on the title, I think. <laughs> your mom would have 
let you go. That just doesn't seem quite right to me. I don't know why I watched it. But when you I did was watch 10, it. Watching a, a violent Martin Scorsese film. <laughs> I have a hard time, but eh, it was, you know, the like 80s. So Yeah, uh, anything went in the 80s it's with true. kids. That's um, true. So what mainly compels you, you uh, out there, yeah. to, watch a, to watch a film, to watch okay. a movie? Is it the director, um, an actor in the film, or actors, mm. um, the trailer or the premise? Like you, you heard something about the film, you mm. saw the trailer, and you're like, oh, that sounds like a cool idea. Um, four, intellectual property. You're all up for Transformers 22, <laughs> yeah. if you pick that one. It's like, the Fast oh, and the, the Furious sequel. 65. Or, you know, Star Wars or Star yeah. Trek or any... It's like, just a something. series you're really into. Or even a yeah. book. Something's yes. been adapted that's from true. That's something true. you know. Or yeah. a video game. Yeah. Anything that's like yeah, that's comes true. from something that's already there. Mm. Or other. And you could pick the other. But I tried to pick like four that were, I would think, pretty common. Yeah, yeah. And then you Why can, people would go. Yeah. Um, I would say mostly, I usually avoid trailers, yeah, so you that's do. definitely not um, something I would go for. Intellectual <laughs> property, I really don't go for sequels. I mean, book adaption, sure, sometimes. Mm. Um, actors, no. I find actors depend on the movie, the, 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 um, the script, the director, there's actors that are in bad movies and good movies. And and they're bad in the bad movies, too. Yeah. They're not just good in bad movies. Yeah. So I find the most reliable way to judge a movie, for me, is by director. Yeah, you... you see, here's what I have to say. Because they have a vision. They have, like... They, they know what they're doing. I would say, when it comes to one and two, the director and the actor... Yeah. I... I'm not necessarily into it unless I see something about it. Okay. So if you're like, Martin Scorsese has a new film, I want to see the trailer. I want to see right. someone talk about it. I want to see someone's review of it. Yeah. So you're not just all in because it's a director. It's not just because, you know, like, yeah, like there's a certain actor, a certain director isn't enough for me. Even if I really like a director, I might be like, oh, I'd like to see that. But I need a little bit more than just that yeah um intellectual property i mean you go for books but you're usually let down because every time we say oh that was adapted from a book you read it's like oh the film see stank. if i know if i <laughs> yeah here's the thing with the intellectual property if it's like a series like um you know star wars or marvel i don't i could care less about yeah. that i i that doesn't interest me <laughs> kubrick's eyes wide shut yeah that was the worst yeah <laughs> out of all of his worst. out of all Any of them no i didn't think it was the worst yeah um anyway intellectual <laughs> property if it's a book and i know the story and i know the story's good that will push so me to go see it doesn't mean it's good but it'll get you to but go. i know i know there's there's some element of it that's good yeah. so so i need something more so i almost say three yeah but you say trailer or premise the premise alone like if the premise is good i might choose yeah. like you do i don't want to watch the trailer right and a premise will get me into a uh, film too yeah so like, i would almost say three yeah. more than any of them because they're not good enough alone yeah i need something that kind of goes this is worth my money kind yeah. of double kind of down thing. spoiled his ballot and voted for everything <laughs> But everything all gets movies. them in. All yeah. movies I mean, get it's me valid in. to vote for all of them. Yeah. Um, and it's a trailer or premise. Yeah. 41%. Yeah. So yeah, people like agree me. with Tanya. Yeah. Um, and uh, then in so tied for second, director or IP. Okay. So people do go for something they already know yeah. for IP. Yeah. And uh, director, like me. Some yeah. people agree with that. And some uh, nobody goes for actor. Because I think because of kind of probably what I said, where it's like, well, the actor, it's a unknown. Like, have, do you know of an actor that is awesome in every film they're in? Well, Nick Cage. And, his, <laughs> and, and that's yeah. regardless if the film is good or bad. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, there are some actors that you're like, I, the well. film could be terrible, but you'll probably like the actor in it. Yeah. And there are some actors. Chris Walken. Yeah, he'll always bring it. Yeah. No matter what the film, if the yeah. film's crap, his part is awesome. I, I, you. Gary, there are some films you'll watch just because, like, you want to see how they do their role. Gary you know? Oldman. Gary Oldman's fantastic too. And he probably picks very good films. I see too. Denzel Washington is fantastic. I've never seen him in a too. bad film. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. 
Less, I'm less so for Kevin Costner, <laughs> but Denzel Washington is good. Toko says, currently it's hard to select a movie from any streaming. It could be over 20 minutes deciding. Yes, It's taken the, uh, the the problem uh, renting DVDs and VHSs at the rental store and brought it home. Yeah. You get to experience the same indecision at home I, as you do in the movie store. But even in the movie store, there's it's almost more restricted in some ways. Oh, it's it is. Like, it's like you there's have less films and yeah. most of the new ones are out. So you're like, well, I guess we're I, not seeing I that. have a huge problem with that, Vitoko. Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell is fantastic. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No um, point in going to cinema for a Nolan movie. You need subtitles. So yeah. Yeah, I've, I've kind of given up on his films because of his audio mixing. Yeah. And he defends it. He's like, yeah. I want it like that. Ugh. And he's like, I don't care what people say. Yeah. It's like, okay, Nolan. <laughs> Good stuff. And his and his films are a mixed bag. Some I love. Yeah. Yeah. Most I do not. I agree with Ryan Reynolds too, because... He picks very good films. Uh, and Not all his films are great. Some are stinkers. No, but he's good. But he's always good in them. <laughs> There's some yeah. who, no matter what material they get, they're going to bring something to the table. Yep. And, and like a variety. Um, like um, um, Drive was excellent drive oh you're thinking of ryan gosling ryan gosling they're yeah. ryan ryan gosling the canadian is ryan's, ryan's. All the they're canadian both ryan's. they're both good yeah. <laughs> if they're canadian and, and their ryan first Reynolds. name is ryan you're probably i didn't, I didn't like deadpool good. too very much though i like i like i liked I liked first deadpool. one amazing oh the first second one was, one was kind of it wasn't bad though i mean it, it was an bad. enjoyable film but ridley uh, scott mostly good mostly good ridley scott yes, stuff yeah some yeah. uh okay anyway. <laughs> um so yeah we revised the treat ball we'll do that later don't trigger the treat ball yeah um so we have some amazing shows coming up i want to announce this at the top because there's some amazing shows killer shows coming up on zph uh april 5th uh the exclusive world premiere of zark stars 5 stellar april 2nd this is one tanya's gonna like nobody knows about this yet uh, Impossible Mission, the exclusive world premiere for of Impossible yeah. Mission for the Lynx. Uh, so you've seen some excited. videos. He's posted videos. It's <laughs> NOP 90. Um, and Tanya's is a very good at Impossible Mission. So I she's love Impossible play. Mission. And I'm going to dedicate the whole show to that and game. I'm so excited. I'm um, so excited. Exclusive that's so world good. premiere. Uh, that's April 2nd. Exclusive world premiere of Course Blade for the 2600. Mm. Teamed up with... The secret new homebrew that I wrote. And that's in one week. Mm. Oh my God. Better finish it up, eh? <laughs> well, uh, that's on March 29th. I'm going to say yep. what you have now, you could demonstrate. Luckily. You yes, have something could. you could demonstrate. It's, it's not a fleshed out game yet, but it, yeah. it is functional. So you're kind of, you know. Yeah, I, I'm in the safe zone. Yeah. It's not where I want it to be. But it's not really a game yet. It's not quite. Once I put up out. the score, yeah, I don't have the score done. Yeah, I don't have the animation done. Yeah, and I don't have sounds done. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try and get the basics of those going for next mm -hmm. Friday. Uh, Alien Resurrection. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, Prometheus. I did not like Prometheus, and I that kind of turned mind. me off the rest of the Alien I films. I did not mind Prometheus. Uh, scientists hated were idiots. It. Well, uh, oh, let's touch the goo. I didn't hate it. <laughs> let's take off our helmets and touch the goo. Well, I mean, ha that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it happens a lot. Um, also, next show, we're going to do something a little bit out of the ordinary on Tuesday. We're going to be doing a tabletop show. So we'll be playing all of my tabletop video games including Zaxxon Ooh. Uh, so we'll be setting up the second camera to be pointing down yes. at uh, all the tabletop games mm -hmm. of the control look at his actual joystick on the Zaxxon that's really cute not just a stick um, so that will be a lot of fun Prometheus I can't run sideways <laughs> exactly <Yes. laughs> Just run straight ahead like you're a cartoon character. <laughs> Did I get them modded? Yeah, they've got, uh, they all have uh, RGB out. No. No. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Get about uh, 100 C batteries. Yes. <laughs> I said we have to invest yeah. in some C batteries yeah. or Ds or whatever do, they are. <laughs> I have to investigate that tonight yeah. because that's on Tuesday. Is it? So, mm. yeah. 
So the games we're going to be covering Ms. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Frogger, Zack Song, Donkey Kong Jr., Pac-Man, Caveman, Zack-Man, Alien Attack, Defender, and Super Cobra. Mm. Plus a bunch of modern-ish basic fun tabletops as well. Good. So lots. Whew. Plus, sometime in the future, I don't know when, we'll be revealing something extremely exciting that probably nobody sees coming. Oh. Um, but I'm very excited for it. Yep. <laughs> and it'll be paired with an interview as well. And I've not talked about it. Okay. And I can't reveal any more. So, and I don't know the date on that. So I, we'll see. I don't even know what's going on. No, I, I didn't tell you about it yet. <laughs> oh. No, Simon, no. Um, Keeping secrets. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, the updates to my game. I know I'm boring you with my game, but too bad. Um, oh. So let's just no one's see bored. <laughs> what updates I have done since the last time I have chatted with all of you. Ooh, look at that list. It, it, nothing it, feels better than checking getting, off the list. Getting. Get away from Bernie. What are you doing? So uh, since the last time, I've implemented a game over condition. Nice. So you can die now. Uh, an enemy collision, which pairs with game over. Mm -hmm. um, enhanced enemy collision. Uh, randomized play elements, because it was just a set game mm -hmm. before. Uh, fixed a minor graphical element, not a, a big deal, but I, but that I had to fix kernel things for timing to, to fix that graphical element. Uh, finalized the player and enemy movement. I've got all of that in there. There's a little bit more enemy movement. Implemented basics, game start and game over. So when the game is over, it stops and you can start the game with the fire button. Um, implemented scoring. So now there's scoring for everything. It doesn't display yet. I don't have it on the screen, but it's it's counting. It's counting, in the so that's good. Uh, there's level advancement now. Mm -hmm. So things will progress in the game. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of kernel cleanup as well. Uh, Carl asks, are you having a lot of fun making it so far? Oh my God, it's so much fun. Oh, I have not made a game probably since high school really actually wow so i don't know 30 years <laughs> 35 years no 33 33 years okay. yeah okay. long time um and i'm actually really happy with how it's progressing mm. it's easier than i thought it was going to be um there are a lot of resources though <laughs> that is available helpful. it's like oh i want to know how this is done scads of people that have done it before me of course that's awesome i mean uh, 2600 development in the homebrew scene has been going on since 2005. yeah um and uh yeah i'm looking forward to doing my next game already which mm -hmm. will be an original game it uh, won't be this one's a port of an existing game but the next one will be original because mm -hmm. i have a big binder full of games that mm -hmm. I have thought up over the years doing this show and I haven't had a chance to implement them or put them to uh, code. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Making games can be more fun than playing games. <laughs> Sometimes. I like both. Yeah. It's it's satisfying to make something. Sometimes it is. sometimes that satisfaction's higher than than well, using the thing you've made. Yeah. You know? Well, hopefully like, other people will enjoy this. That's game. that's that's kind of the point. We'll see. It's not necessarily for you. It's for other people I to mean, enjoy, right? So I, I I have a good idea that people will because it's a port and people already enjoy the other the original game. Yeah. So they'll probably enjoy this. That's the that's the safety of ports. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the scariness of original is like, oh, why did you make this? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Oh, Cubanismo definitely enjoys making uh, games Game more. more. Yeah. And I'm guessing Cyrano does as well. It's extremely satisfying to see other people, people enjoy them. Yeah. Yes, it would be. Yeah, I am doing it in assembly. Um, I don't find it that weird to do it in assembly. Mm -hmm. I find it like... You, you understand get... the, the... What I want to say. Mechanisms. The mechanisms, Of yeah. the 2600, yes. Yeah. And I like being able to see exactly this does this and it affects this directly mm -hmm. rather than one step removed using a higher level language mm. and i i know that if you want to do the more powerful things you you program in assembly yeah because you're talking directly to the 2600 with nothing in between mm. yep asm for the win <laughs> yes uh, as soon as i play a game i just want to figure out how to make it yeah mm. um so that's next Friday. You'll get one more update on Tuesday. Hopefully it's a good update that mm -hmm. I progress some more. 
Yeah, and you're uh, ready for Friday, yeah. Yeah, the next step, uh, I'm. it's either going to be animation, start of the animation, mm -hmm. uh, or the score. Both are kind of even right now which one I want to do next. But mm -hmm. I didn't get anything done today. I won't get anything done tomorrow, unfortunately, because mm -hmm. the film uh, movie marathon, Scar mm -hmm. says he's move, movie marathon. Yes, tomorrow. Will be so it'll be Sunday and Monday before the next show that I'll be able to work on it. Uh, so that'll to be torture for me. Okay, so uh, we're doing a, a giveaway, actually. Um, there is uh, the Kobayashi Maru Caravan Edition competition that happened uh, recently. Uh, that's Cyrano J's game. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the contest here so people can see what I am talking about. So here it is. Uh, this is machine running this contest on Cyrano's mm -hmm. game. Kabayashi Maru Caravan, Car Caravan Contest. These are the caravan versions are cut down versions of the full game meant to be used in a competition setting. Okay. So you have a time limit or some sort of limit. This is a time limit. Okay. And you have to get the highest score in, I, I can't remember how many minutes it is, but this was used at PRGE last year mm -hmm. and I think will be used again this year at PRGE. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to check that out and, and look for it because we didn't see it last time. It must have been within with the, all the consoles, the free play area. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this was, the cutoff was March 18th. Nice. So uh, four days ago. Oh, probably Biopede Caravan and Rocketeer Caravan. Oh, excellent. Um, and let's just flip to the last page here and take a look at who is uh, eligible for the draw and their scores. Here they are. So these are the, I believe, the final scores, and the winner was a Gradinu with 126,000 points. Wow! Which is very good score. Is My good score was 57,000. There you go. <laughs> and it was actually not a great score in comparison to a lot of other people's. It was uh, maybe just below middle. Mm. Yeah, maybe at a third. Yeah. Oh, a Gradinu just destroys everyone else. Oh All my God. the six-figure scores are a are Gradinu. theirs. Yep. A Gradinu. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Yep. Yeah. Destroyed. So, all those names that are not a Grad News top score mm -hmm. um, are in this hat, the Gravitic Minds hat. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so, I am going to get you to Me? pick out okay. not the names. The They're all cut no? up on pieces of paper. <laughs> okay. See? And Let's someone's see. winning something? What uh, are they winning? Um, I think... Okay, don't draw yet. Calm, calm down. Okay. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Let's let's see what they Not might. Not an AI hand, yeah. Might be winning. <laughs> got all your proper fingers. I've got all my fingers. I think they're winning this. It says one of the prizes has not arrived, but here's a sneak peek. Oh, okay, nice. I I don't know. <laughs> he didn't say to me what the prize was. Might That's... be that. Might be a patch. Okay. That's why we have the hat. Yeah. It's specifically for this. Yeah. Uh okay. So let's draw the name for the winner. Ten, you can't see it. It's well above yep. her eye line. No, one piece no of paper. Make sure you only have yep, one. I've got one. And who is it? It is. Uh-oh. Hopefully it's not me. It is you. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to take another one. <laughs> no, no, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. <laughs> can't be me. Why did you put your name in the hat? I just cut them up. I did it quickly. Okay. And if it was me, I would just, we'd just do it again. Okay. Okay, here we try again. Yes. Okay, and the winner is Madman. With 59, 50,000. 50, 50, 915 points. Congratulations, Hooray! Madman. This thanks, will be James thanks, as well. Thanks. James, James, <laughs> James. <laughs> what's going on? I was going to say, I forgot that my name was in there. I was going to say, if it's my name, we're not doing I, it. I guess. It's literally my name. Wow. Okay. I was just about to say I have no skin in this game, but then James's name showed up. That's oh, blurry. can't see it, Doesn't can't work. see it, can't see it. You have to go up it. to the webcam. Oh, that's that okay. Can. No, no. It's like me when I'm trying to read up close. There you go. Um, it does say zero page. That's hilarious. But Mad Men, yes. You grabbed it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There. Yeah, I did. Okay. okay. Good. Sorry. Congratulations, <laughs> Mad Men. James all the way down. Yeah. yeah. That is hilarious. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's next uh, on our things to do? So uh, we're playing uh, some of my favorite shooters tonight. Um, a last set of shooters. 
uh, in part one, it was a long time ago, mm. uh, it was in December 4th, 2020. Okay. And I promptly forgot about this series we're doing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so four years, almost four, well, three and a half uh, years later, uh, we are doing it again. Uh, the first round uh, was Galagon, Draconian, Juno First, and Space Game. Mm. All just outstanding games. Uh, shooters. Mm. So for this one, I pick four more games that I thought are some of my favorite games. Mm. And they are tonight 1942, uh, Azevius, and, or Zevias and a ro roach in space and ms galactopus so it should be a lot of fun but up first we're going to be playing 1942 and it has a lot of contributions uh Fantastic. homer homer uh wolfgang St wolfgang stubig which is alan the fur uh, philip blackman splendid nut and pat brady on sound nice uh this was first started uh 2011 a long time ago mm very long time ago um and i think it sat for a while i think there was a proof of concept and then al nefer and splendid dot kind of took up uh, the um the cause for it and uh kept it going mm -hmm. and this build is from january 5th 2023 so it hasn't been worked on in about a year okay and it's still a work in progress so I'm hoping maybe this will uh, remind them that they have a game that's a work in progress still. Yeah. Um, it's 32K game. Uh, other games that Al Nefer has done, Cave Apocalypse and Internet Combat mm -hmm. um, for the 2600. That's the internet version of Combat that we played that we premiered on the show. Mm -hmm. um, and Splendid Nut has done Bruce Lee and Chaotic Grill and Paint the City. Nice. Let's get this going. Uh, oh, Carl G says, I think if I had to pick a favorite, I would also pick Juno first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask that. What are everybody's favorite shooters? Yeah. Um, and they could be the ones that I've picked. Those are some prompts. Or you can uh, figure out uh, other ones that I don't haven't list, listed yet. Because there will be more. Because there's a lot of good shooters. Okay, let's switch over. I like uh, the comment was that that's how Russia picks presidents, right? <laughs> Cubanismo. <laughs> that's yep. Right. Yep. All the What's same this? names. Putin again? Putin, Putin again. <laughs> Putin again. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, thank you for sub resubscribing Atari 1974. Yay! 24 months. Thank you so much. 1942. Yep, that's today's date. Let's get in there. Yay! Oh, that's very loud. Sorry about your ears. Oh, the music's great too. Oh, the music's so good. Pat Brady did such a great job oh. on the music. <laughs> yeah, it's the music is spot on. And uh, go for it. 1942 is is and the 1940X series is. Oh, you can't move yet. Yeah. I was like... <laughs> is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, we may have to plug a different joystick in it because this one will not do the flips. Bigger pow. It is It is impressive. I have to say, I think it's, it's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. It's got the um, ships you take off and land from. It's got the land that you fly over. It's got the uh, big ships, or the big planes. It's got the power-ups. It's got the flips. And no plus ROM high score support on the Harmony. Well, we could pull in the pus cart and also plug in a uh, joystick that supports two buttons. Let's do that right now. Oh. Let's do that. Oh. Okay. Nope, you lose. Boo. You lose. <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 actually. Ready. Let's plug in this special joystick here. Double Downs joystick. That supports the two buttons. Yeah, that's a better way to go. So you can do the flips. Yay, flips. That cat is so cute. The fluffy cat? Yeah. He's pretty, pretty cute. There we go. He's so curious. Atari Hot Plus. Ready. It's all set up for you. 
So go to uh, public ROMs. And go to, I'm sure it's still work in progress. And then zero through G. In 1940. Oh. oh, where is it? Maybe it's under homebrew. Oh, you're pressing buttons? No, oh, you're going over. Okay, press button, go up. Press button. Uh, a button at the two dots at the top. I'm guess it's uh, guessing it's under homebrew. Oh, plus ROMs. It might be under plus ROMs because it does support. Uh, nope. Okay, go back up. <laughs> we'll find it. <laughs> She's like, you're no, faster. You know it. where to go. You know where to look. So, uh, <laughs> doesn't have Atari Vox. Help me, Alan the Fur. <laughs> Help me. Where is it? It should be under work in progress because it's a work in progress. It could be just under homebrew. Uh, I was just there. It's not oh. there. Uh, is it? At, maybe you have to start at A or I don't know. Go to go back to work in progress. Is it at the bottom? Oh, it uh, could be. It could be at the bottom. Like it's out of order. Nope. No, go go eight. to the bottom. Go go back. Oh, I'm doing pages. No, no, go go. Yeah, but it won't go to Z. It might be after Z is all I'm oh. saying. Try it. It's under that. N for nineteen. Well, I'm not gonna believe you. Yeah, try Z. Z, and try to go to the bottom. Okay. No. Hmm. Might have to plug uh, it back in. Okay. Al has disappeared. Al the fur has disappeared. <laughs> Homebrew? Homebrew? Uh, Homebrew? Oh, it's where I was, right? Now you're in work in progress. Okay, let's go back to homebrew. There's got to be some numbered homebrews. NTSC. No, where are the numbers? Where are the numbers? It's his own game. This craziness. Here. Oh, under Z? No, we couldn't find no. anything. No, <laughs> Z. Plus card Z does need a search function. Yeah. It's causing us all kinds of trouble now. No. Not under, not past Z. It's not under 19. Al, where are you? <laughs> Just... uh, ZA 1942? No. Oh, was it ZA 1942? Like literally? Why is it ZA 1942? Yeah, I thought I saw it when you were under Z previously. Keep going. Okay, go back to the work in progress. Okay. Why would it be called ZA 1942? <laughs> That's weird. Maybe you have to have a letter? Maybe. Wouldn't think so. So work in progress. I know it's thrilling. Thrilling. Watching me navigate. Uh, oh, no, uh, that's ZA 2600. Al, yep. look at work in progress inactive. Oh, okay. I'll just mention interactive. Inactive. PBG, <laughs> this game sucks. Inactive. <laughs> Al Nefer says it's under inactive. There we go. Okay. Okay. How do you determine inactive? More than X months? Maybe it hasn't been modified? There we go. <laughs> detected the two <laughs> buttons, detected the high score. We're in Me? business. Me. Yes. Thank you, Al. Now your score will be posted. Now I think Prizrak moved it. Uh, okay. Now you're going to suck. You're going to die immediately. Mm. What I like about shooters. I like the variety of patterns that are in shooters. Mm -hmm. I like the power-up systems in shooters. I mean, these are things that define shooters. Mm -hmm. um, I like the levels, like the system of leveling. You can tell kind of where you are by, you know, different graphics, different lands, different colors, different, um, different enemies, different... And I like the bosses, trying to figure out the patterns of bosses. I was starting to get into um, bullet hells for a while. Oh, bullet hells are fun. But then they were just overwhelming. And bullet hells are quite a different type of beast. 
they are more like navigating your way through mazes. <laughs> Maze of yes. tiny dots. And it turns it into something else at that point. It, it becomes a little bit different than a shooter. I mean, you're kind of navigating through a maze here of maze of planes, right? But Bella tells her, like, you also have to figure out... Yeah, don't stay to the bottom too far because things are coming up. Um, you have to know your hitbox. Yes, you do. On bullet hells. Really well. Hitbox of your character. And it's not the full character. It's such a weird concept. But yeah. you either really love bullet hells or you're like, this is insane. I find and bullet hells the kind of game that you don't want to stop playing. Yeah. Like, like it's, 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 it's repetitive in a way. It is. It's, but it's, it's you're almost sort of get into a trance. Trance like, yes. Yeah. It's a trance like kind of game. Yep. You have to get into a zone with them. And, and I like mild bullet hells, not the super crazy ones where it's like the screen is constantly full of bullets. <laughs> oh, he got me completely. Oh, don't, keep shooting. He got me completely. All three of your ships. All of them at the same oh, time. I mean, no. I haven't played this. I don't know their patterns, so. Well, it's pretty hard to right memorize every me. single pattern. Well, if just you played enough, you know, but. Yeah, I would just say stay up Away. Off. It uh, just, just came right Just a little bit me. lower than center. Yeah. Uh, no. Unless you're, unless you're forced down. Ikaruga. I have heard of Ikaruga. I have not played it enough to know it by name. I have a ton of bullet hells upstairs. Yeah. Not a ton. A few. Quite a few bullet hells. And I I just kind of got turned off of them. Mm. And I just like, you know, shooters in more, general. More general shooters than yeah. not the bullet hell shooters. Yeah. No, bullet hells are, are pretty fun. I also, the black and white one. I no, also think a lot of bullet thing. hell games... Oh, my God. Um, have really... Uh, 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 Whoa! Uh, uh, barely survived that. Needle. that. Um, a lot of bullet hell games have really interesting um, character sprites, you know, yes. and beautiful like kind oh, of art design and ama ah, amazing graphics on them. Usually, um, I think that's another reason why they're interesting games. Yeah. James, do you have one of Saints uh, seven eight hundred Mega controller adapters? Yes, I do. Uh, it is over there. So we could play with a Mega Controller. I do mm. not like Sega Genesis controllers. Ow! Kittens. I don't mind their arcade controllers, arcade sticks, and I do have those. I did buy one. Kittens. But I I have your joysticks. I don't need that. <laughs> hey! Oh. Hey, be a nice cat. Boo. Oh, game over. Right. My turn. Ooh. Hi, kitty. Have you tried that ZPH controller with the adapter on the 7800 for 7800 two button games? I don't know. No, I have not. Hmm. No. Hmm. Because I usually generally use my um, Bratwurst controllers in the 7800, which are a fixed two button controller. And I reserved this one for special occasions like the Lynx. And two button 2600 games. Mm. That's a better shot. A little bit wider. And this is uh, 1942 is one of those I never thought I'd see it on the 2600 games. Yes, 100%. Which is always nice when you when a developer makes one of those games like, nah, nobody ever make that. It's mm. too crazy to put on the 2600. And uh, before the show, Alnifer was saying, oh, he'd really like to put in the loop patterns of the enemies. Oh, mm. That was very dumb. Because right now they uh, come down the screen and turn around. Mm. And they don't do like the, the loops, like the yes, patterns. The patterns. Yeah. That is quite a uh, quite a difficult thing to do. I mean, it has been done. Like if you look at Galaga. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Very similar type. You know, uh, ships fly in. They do loop de loops, and they fly out again, or go into um, go into a pattern at the top of the screen. So it is possible. Thank you. Gotta get those power ups. I and mean, I'm not doing a great job. I already died. Well. 
Can you read? I built a Joy stuff? 2B Plus wired two button controller the other day. Wired similar to your ZPH controller, and it works as a 7800 controller with a Mega adapter. Mm. Nice. A what? I shot that guy five times, and then I f flew into right him? into him. Oh no. Damn you, Flicker. Mm. The bullets are going through him. He's using cloaking device. No, sweetie. No. No. Oh, what a whine. That was sad. No. You got, you already got, you won. Do you not realize you won? You but won I want game. more. I want more treats, he says. You guys are so funny. It's nice you're using a variety of, um, because that was a repeated play field. Yes. And that's a repeated play field, left and right. Yeah. Um, I I think he used it a reflected one at some point. Maybe they're all repeated. That one's repeated as well. Now that you're making games, you're like, hmm, <laughs> well, he I, did I, this and this, and he did it this way. And, I mean, yeah. I knew that stuff beforehand. Yeah, but, but... Yep. I did learn... I've been posting what I've learned as well in my thread. That's cool. About making games. Ah! <laughs> and uh, hey. one thing I learned was to use a... Um, pound sign when I want to get the value of a constant or variable rather than uh, if you don't use the pound sign is you look you load the value in the address that is dictated by the constant or variable uh, that doesn't make any sense to anybody but a programmer but um, <laughs> Do you I'm know what it. constants and variables are? So yes, yeah. and I would say I have a constant called lives, which I just lost. Yeah, um, <laughs> and it's called lives. Yes, and I want to, you know, manipulate that or or compare it or something. Mm. And so I load lives into the accumulator, and if I just load it without the hash hashtag, yeah. Um, Pound key. Pound key. <laughs> the pound. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Modern or ancient versions of it. Um, and say it has two lives in it. If I use the the hash, then it will actually load the number two. Mm. But if I don't use that, it will go, oh, you want to look up what's in location two in mm. memory. And it's like, well, that can be handy for something you want to do. Oh, there's reflected. Um, so he does use that. And I did that for something in my game. Mm. And I was like, what the, what is happening? Why is it not working? Yeah. And things were going nuts on the screen. And um, then I finally realized it. And I went, oh my God. So I, and so I went through my whole game and made sure I was doing it right. And then, oh my God, things started working. But it's just things, little things about the way you... Oh, did you get an, an extra, extra life? Extra life, Nice. Yeah. Uh, Crunchy the Clown, seriously impressed with this game. It is amazing. It, it looks plays really, really well. It really, good. Um, obviously, it's not exactly like 1942, but it's got it's got all the, the elements of it. Of it's got, it. All, it's the got elements. all the elements and um, that's what Alan you fur was saying also the colors of the islands switch between grass jungle and sand oh, like they nice. they switch sort of you know that's they, what you there's wanted. some variability <sighs> i also love the explosion the explosion's pretty pretty awesome it is of yeah. me yeah yeah, it's yeah. very defeating though very defeating <laughs> mm. Like, mm. so sad it's like a slow motion explosion um, yeah, you want you want that so in a game. Good. The sound is so good. Pepper, you did such an amazing job. Oh, the sound. it is so good. Was this nominated for sound at the awards? I wouldn't I bet be surprised. It was. I yeah. bet it was. I would think that it would be. Was that two years ago? Like not this past oh year, but the God. year before, probably. Ah. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, this. It wouldn't yeah, have been 2023, right? No, 2022. no, no, no. It didn't have an update. The big planes need five hits. Yeah, they're really hard. It's hard to get Especially five hits Especially when you're on. dodging everything else. Yeah. And you're like, oh my god. Yes, a 7800 version of this is is outstanding. Mm. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, one of the best arcade ports on the system. 
cat, you're being a really good door. Yeah, we can't see a thing on the chat. You're right in front of it. It's, it's you're doing a great job. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> he says, thank you. I try. Yeah. Alifer, you have to get close to them for five hits. Yeah, I yeah. bet you have to trail them. Like, just be just right on them. Right. Let's try it. Oh, don't, don't hit Not them. Not that close. Ah! Oh, oh I got an extra it? life. But maybe I got it as it went off the screen. Ah! I don't think so, though. It would have probably exploded before it went mm. off the screen. Oh, Meowing at the cat sh works, sure. I got it! <laughs> oh, I got it. kitties. Meow! Meow! Oh, you go right up to it and it just destroyed because your bullet resets after it hits something. Just, just so you know, if any, any oh, of you... Oh, yeah, that's very handy. Is it better? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if any of you ever want a cat alarm clock, <laughs> Sprite will be, is available for renting out. Yep, he's set for... Eight, uh, pretty much 7.30 a.m. And also 3 p.m. to and 4. Th <laughs> 3 p.m. to 4. And Basically, also 10 p.m. to 11. He's not as bad. He has no he's snooze. He's not as bad as the morning, though. I would say he's a much better alarm clock. Oh, 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 get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, the oh they follow me. you. Oh, my God. Heat, heat seeking. Heat seeking missiles. Oh, wow. An extra life. Yay. Fantastic. That looks fantastic. Huge. And it's very smart. I think you use Playfield for that. Yeah. So you can able, you're able to move Playfield up and down. That's and amazing. And you can make it huge. Yeah. Yeah, very, very impressive. Ivory Tower. 7.30 is too late in the morning for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would be late for, for work. He can't um, be retrained. All you do have to do is feed, feed him. Feed him early, and, and then no. he'll he'll get up early and, and, and start meowing. Yeah, probably He is an absolute times. nightmare. Man, Our neighbors man. have a new baby. We don't hear the baby. But I bet they hear the cat. But we bet they hear the cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. He cries like he's starving. Yep. He hasn't eaten in weeks. He yeah. is he is turned into a monster. He he, he wasn't like that when we first he got was him. Timid and he now he's sweet. so bold. He just he's still very cries sweet. at the top of his lungs until someone gets up and feeds him. I haven't done a roll yet. Oh I should have done one there. <laughs> Let's do a roll. Whee. Yay! <laughs> I, I never use the rolls in 1942 because I always forget about them. Oh, got another life. Big Daddy Plane, yeah. Huge yeah. daddy plane. Oh, Cuban is my high. I was just joking about cats waking owners up this morning. <laughs> Were you? Well, they do. He is a quite the cat. The menace. He is quite the menace. Menace to the neighborhood. But it works. Oh. You know, it's, it's... I can't go back to sleep because he cries for an hour. He screams at the door. Meh! 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 Like, nonstop. Yep. Yep. Till there's food in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's like, food will, food will cure that, he says. Yeah. It's like, I know. But yeah. I'm, oh, he's bad. He doesn't... <gasps> Where did that come from? That came from nowhere. What's shooting me? Bug. <laughs> look, look. What is... What are those things? What's <laughs> happening? What are the... What? What the what? Maybe they're coming from the ground? I don't know. Oh, wait, they're coming out of... Oh. Al, what's well, going on? it is a work in progress. <laughs> no, but is that... Oh, my God. They're invisible. Invisible They're planes? They're stealth, stealth planes. What is happening, Al? Ah, <laughs> oh, they killed me out of nowhere. Uh, cloaked ships. Cloaked ships. Like, literally, are they cloaked no, ships? No, I, I think there's there's something. Al, going on. why? <laughs> why you do this to me? Ah, oh, they're no, happening again. Al never says, nice bug. <laughs> ah, I have to keep moving. Because if I stand still, ships. if I stand, look, if I stand still, they, they kill me. It's I, almost like it's delayed. Mm. The ship moves out of the way and then the shot comes. Almost. Ah. Yeah. Oh, it's after every wave. Yeah. Of planes. Something some... something shoots out of the ground. Ah, there there is. There it is. Every I think time. I think they're coming too late. I think they're coming too late. Uh, Something's going on there. I'm gonna stay down here. <laughs> uh, the shots are always going in your direction, yeah. It's like the boss plane is shooting at me. A little bit. Oh my god. Ah, I don't want to get that. Ah, ah! <gasps> it's game over. That was good. You got to 24. Uh, down to 24. There's 24 more to go. No, but you got from 31 oh, to 24. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks hard. Yeah. Well, it is when there's invisible plane shooting at you. Pretend it's a flak burst. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice buck. Yep, well, there's something to work on. There. Get back on it, Al. <laughs> such a great, fantastic. such a great game. Oh, yeah, it looks 
just amazing. It's amazing that it you got a 1942 yep. port onto the 2600. Yeah, great work. You must use the force. No kidding. Okay, so the next game we're going to be playing Zevius? is Zevius. Nice. Another astounding game. This one is by CD-W, Chris Walton, and Nathan Strum on the graphics. So you know the graphics are good. And this was, uh, oh, so it's two button. Um, you want to play intermediate? I think I have to, it's not couch compliant. Expert, novice, intermediate, advanced, which one? Well, it'd be novice or intermediate. Be novice. Yeah, like I, I. For you. Yeah. For me. For, for you. Um, and this works. was oh, yeah. actually, so one button is for shooting up above and the other button is for shooting the ground. And there's, you can hold it down, I believe. So those, you have to put your uh, aimer over them and press the second button. You can actually hold down both buttons if you want to just keep bombing. Um, and I believe that some of the ideas of the scrolling Playfield, the full screen scrolling playfield went into Turbo Arcade, mm. where they have the full full screen scrolling as well. Oh, oh no. they are tiny bullets in this they game. Are. Yeah, incredible scrolling in this and great graphics. Sound is not in sync. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I will make it in sync. Just gotta drop the video out for a second. Let me know if it is in sync now. It's the problem when you don't have uh, absolutely perfect um, signal to the upscaler. Um, actually, it, it's not, not the upscaler, it's the capture device. And it goes nuts when you don't have absolute perfectness sent to it. It's all good now. Thank you, everybody. VVG Double Down. I would rate Xevious as my least favorite shooter of all time. Really? Nothing against specific port. I just don't care for the game. Really? Mm. I think it's a really... I mean, it's an early, early shooter. It is like the grandfather of, of, of all. this type of shooter, at least. Like the scrolling, scrolling shooters. Oh, got me. There's been a lot of um, space shooters before this, but a scrolling shooter. It's one of the early, early ones. It's got all. It's got good elements. It's got uh, nice scrolling. It's got ground things. It's actually got hidden things to bomb as well. You have to look for them. They're little dots, little white dots in the screen. They're not errors. I'll point it out next time I see it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Be careful. Patoko says this was the shooter that made me play on arcades. Nice. There's one, right on the right hand side. Nice. And you shoot again. Nice. It's just bonus points. You don't have to get them. But they're fun to. There's another one. Oh, you do get extra lives because ah, you're getting extra points. I need them too. <laughs> yeah. Don't know if there there is a 2600 one, but my all-time favorite shooter is Raiden 2. Oh, I doubt that's ever... I assume I just dodge. Yeah, you dodge. You can't kill these. Beautiful 3D effect. Oh my god, Nathan did such an amazing job on the graphics. This, oh, why would you choose that route? Oh! oh I, you know what? It's so easy to miss the shots. They're tiny. They are so small. They're one pixel. Oh my gosh, I just pushed it a little too hard. At least on the 2600 version, you can see the hidden bases. Um, uh, unlike the others where they're truly hidden, you just have to know where they are. Really? Oh my god. I haven't played Xevious on any other platform except for this one. Oh, uh, watch out. Um, so I didn't know that they were hidden on the other ones. That is very handy. How are you ever supposed to find them? You just memorize where all the hidden things are? That's that's one thing I really, really dis... It's multiple things I do not like in games. Dark. Mazes. 
and memorization. And um, mazes are part of that memorization. Because you kind of have to memorize where you have to, where you've been and where you have to go to. Just luck as you shoot at stuff. Oh, okay, so you can memorize them. Hi. Hi. You'll get some. We'll, after this game, we'll probably do uh, oh, the ball game. The ball game, and oh, we'll see. Oh, that'll be fun. But you got to step up your game for that one. You're very good at the bells, but you got to be a little bit more forceful. The problem. Oh, I ran right into the. It. Ah, the that was fun. The problem is with the ball so game fun. is that the cats are very polite to each other. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is yep. it Came couch compliant? No, it is not. Far to play. Far to play. Oh, yeah. You have to turn it that way. Yeah. So he could have made it. I'm, I'm sure he will. In the in for like you just have to add left and right for that. Oh, maybe maybe the hidden items hint is selectable by difficulty oh, switches. It maybe. could be. It might be true. It is very fast moving. Yeah. Your ship. So I can see why. The version also has hidden flags you uncover for big points. You just randomly hit them. Oh. Ah. Yeah. This one. This one has flags as well. So I was testing it before. Um, mm. today, and there are flags. Nice. But I think they are designated by the dots. So they're not, like, hidden, hidden. You never know. Oh, my God. You never know. Uh, Chris might hide the dots or make them hide, uh, hit hideable with, mm. with an option. So you can play it more like the arcade. I'm going to refresh my one. Be right back. Do you okay. want water or anything? You um, no, I'm pretty full with the water. Thank okay. you. Let me get my skill back with this. Actually, I find this a, a pretty challenging game. Like, I never said I was good at shooters. I just really, really like shooters. Oh my god. Oh, what? Where'd that bullet come from? Need more lives. Need more lives badly. Yeah. What Chris and Nathan were able to do with the playfield graphics in this game is nothing short of, oh my god, astounding. I think the resolution is single line resolution. I mean, it does alternate, so it might be considered dual line resolution. I can't really tell because I'm playing. <laughs> oh my god, so hard! Maybe I should be on novice too. <laughs> You're so on intermediate? Hard. Yeah. yeah. Get my ass kicked. I mean, it is single line resolution because it is changing every second line for the play field. Oh my god. So much stuff. Oh, the bullets are so fast. Some of the bullets are very fast. Yeah, depends some on. Some of them are um, slow. Some of them come on yeah. angles and sure. some. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Come here. There you go. Come Good. Join us. Good. Oh, and he's baby gone. cat. And he's gone. Yeah, he doesn't like to settle too quick. He wants treats. They all want treats. They'll get. You'll get your treats. Just have to be a calm, patient cat. It's like I can't. Impossible. I can't. Oh, where did <gasps> what? Who came shot from behind? Me? Oh from, my goodness. From nothing. Is it fun that the arcade game is top you for it? It, it is fun that the, the arcade game is top you for everything except for the hidden flags. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we are now obsessed with our what are next we Netflix show, oh, which is right. season two of the Physical One Hundred, which is a Korean show that's like a hundred of the strongest people they can find yep. who come from all different kind of athletic backgrounds and disciplines. A lot and of them are uh, Olympic athletes. MMA um, players, martial arts, um, 
and they put them through like really, really crazy tasks. Feats of strength, feats of agility. I would almost say like torture. <laughs> yeah. To see it, it, in competition and to whittle it down from a hundred people down to one. It's it's everything you want. We watched season one. It was absolutely fantastic. So now season two is out, and it's not disappointing either. It's it's really interesting. Yeah, it's it's so much better than um, what's that other one that was a movie first, and then they made oh a competition. like uh, not Squid Game. Yeah, Squid Game. Yeah, well, it was always a Netflix show, but yeah. yeah. But um, not the movie, the competition Squid Game one that yeah. they made. Yeah. This one is so, so much better. Well, it's... Than that. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> that was good. Festivus Feats of Strength, yeah. yes. Um, uh, if, if you like competitions, like even sports competitions, it's yes. so fascinating to watch because the hundred people come from all different backgrounds. Their body types are all different. They're all strong. And but. like they... <laughs> You know, they'll come up to some sort of event or competition and you're sitting there going, huh, <laughs> who's going to be better? At who's going to be better? Is it going to be the bodybuilder or is it going to be the soccer player? You know, or it's and it's be the like gymnast. different people have different strengths. And even though they're doing these incredibly hard tasks, yeah. you can kind of see how people with different athletic kind of experiences and backgrounds would do better with some things than, than others. So yes. it's really fascinating. Anyway, that's it's really fascinating. Our, our, our latest show. I think they have four four episodes on Netflix right now yes, and they're kind of releasing two. them. So if you haven't seen yeah. it at all, you're in for a treat because you get to see all the Highly recommend it. It was it's really, really good. You have to you have to read a little bit of subtitling though, because it is Korean, so it's yeah. uh I and mean, you don't have to, but well. You can kind it. of figure out what's going on, but yeah. Anyway. Okay. How do you recommend? Uh, the next game. It's so good. I think. Which one is it? Is there Yeah, a roach in space. VHZC's game. Ready. Look at that. La Cucaracha. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is by Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. Uh, the last time we played this was quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, 2019, July 17th. So five years ago wow. we played this. Yeah. Wow. Has it really been that long? It has been. So you get, um, not lives in this game, you get health. And you'll get one life. I don't think you get the health back, not immediately anyway. Oh, you got hit. Come on aside. <laughs> it's like, nope. Ah! <laughs> get, stop it. So Time flies, sure does. Uh, Cuban Esmo says, not watching TV again until the last season, season of Stranger Things comes out. Well, yeah, I am looking hey. forward to that for sure. Eh. I, I, I liked it. Last season was James fine. James is so-so on it. He yep. found it a little cheesy, I think. Yeah. Um, first first I love two them. seasons I thought were they good. were fantastic. I'm dying soon. Was the ah. latest season the one where he's playing guitar <laughs> on the house? What? On top of the house in hell. Oh, what? Or whatever. In Stranger Things? Yes. I can't remember. Was it I the one where he's in jail? Because I forget it all. Like where he's in jail in Russia? Oh yeah, is yeah, that... yeah. Jail in Russia. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Oh, the last season was all running up that hill every single episode. Wasn't oh it? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like okay, we <laughs> yeah. get it. You like the song? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mind it. <laughs> I didn't mind it. Um. Oh, Rod Castler saying, I own a sealed box autograph by the author copy of this game. Nice. Oh, very nice. Autograph. This, this is a fun game. Ah, ah, got hit um, twice. Oh, my God. It'll make me rich 100 years from now. That's right. Uh, Cubanismo. I didn't like the third one, I think, but Cubanismo liked the last one. Yeah. I think it was the third yeah. one I didn't like. Yeah. yeah. The last one was I, a lot better. I didn't just... I can't remember. What, um, what this, the this one, were. I think, was where they actually did kind of go into hell, right? Where yes. they're fighting. There was a haunted house. There's a house, and they get sucked up into the ceiling, and then they're yeah. into the um, upside down. Yeah. It's that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I thought it was good. I don't know. I, I, I think they're all pretty ah. good. <laughs> I, yeah, they're I, all I think variations they're of good. Very well written. First season was good characters. Heck, heck. Hey, what's going on? I'm trying to knock over my wine. Um. Yeah, Stranger Things. Yeah, I forgot about that actually. Yeah, I haven't been a heard while. much about that in the last little while. Well, uh, there's a strike, and then there and there was the COVID, so a lot of disruptions. Yeah. Anyway, in the first episode of the Physical 100, they get all hundred people. Oh, yeah. To run to on a it. manual treadmill, a hundred, oh. hundred athletes of different calibers, never manual s- treadmill. I've never seen a manual treadmill before. Oh, they're horrible. Uh, <laughs> You've been on one? Yes, I have. Um, cause, cause it's your body weight and movement that keeps it moving forward. So it slows really quickly. Yeah. But, um, and then they, they basically all got ranked huh. based on the distance they could travel in 10 minutes. So they had to run flat out as hard as they could. And then the lowest 50 got kicked out. And then the next 50 ran for seven minutes. Yeah. And then the lowest 40 got kicked out. And then the last 10 people ran for five. S- five. And then basically they all got ranked from one to one down to a hundred for the next task. Their name stamped or their numbers stamped on their arm. With their numbers stamped on the yeah, exactly. Based on the distance they were able to travel. Um it was absolutely insane, but it's so interesting because it's like, okay, is the female 400 meter Olympic medalist yeah. going to do better than the CrossFitter Answers or no. <laughs> the soccer player, right? Like, yeah. it's really interesting. It's really interesting. Uh, I don't that uh, actually the soccer player didn't, but there was a soccer player in the top 10. So it's just fascinating. It's just, it's yeah. really interesting. Like, what skills translate what to skills translate weird to that. games? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, some of the CrossFitters did really, really oh, well. What was that? Uh, oh, Ray. Rendered Ghost is raiding. Yay, Rendered Ghost. We're playing. Welcome. A roach in space. Yes. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Oh, hey, sub- Chalcedony Mao, Mad Doggy, Calica. Somebody just subscribed to. Who was that? Puerto Rican Hottie, 1988. Oh, welcome, uh, everyone. Uh, Rendered Gross su- just subscribed. Yay, Thank you, resubscribed. Rendered Ghost. Oh my god. Oh, I lost my power up bullet. Bogdad, yay! <laughs> All the people. Yay, thank you. We're playing. Can you hear a cat? Sprite <laughs> is really excited that you joined us today. Yes. We're playing our favorite shooters yes. on the 2600. Homebrew shooters. Ah, ah. This poor little roach. It's getting shot at by all kinds of aliens. You're doing fairly decent. You're doing very well. You're much better than me. Oh, oh, it's treat time. We, we. Okay, we'll probably... treat time will start after. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do the ball though. Are we? Yeah. Not gonna do treat time. Well, we could do treat time, and then we'll do ball at the end of okay, the show. Okay, we'll do the ball at the end. Thank you for triggering treat time. Yay! The cats are very excited about it. Yes. As you can tell, they're going insane. But I have to die first. This cat, right here. This guy. Oh, he's so excited. Are you excited? <laughs> he is excited. Sprint. Ow. Did you get hit? Yes. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. It's not good. I just lost a lot of health in a small amount of time. <laughs> Kitties. Kitties. Render goes, we will do it after. Yep, yep, after this game. Yep, we'll finish this round and then it'll be time to treat the cats. Yeah, baby. There is a. Thank you for following somebody. Thank you, Calica. Oh my God. Right, Castle. Do true time whenever the time comes. But I had to do it after all the meowing down there. Yes, <laughs> yes. It just makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these patterns are brutal. Beautiful, oh. beautiful sides. Oh yeah. Thank you for Hey, thank you, Crypto Coffee 13! For the bits. Thank I'm you for the bits. bits. Yes. Thank you for the bits. The cats say thank Oh, oh I'm almost dead. Oh no. One more hit and it's over. You do get extra health though, don't you? Uh, when you defeat a boss. Have you hit a boss yet? Yep. Ah, oh, damn it, I keep missing it. Is it gonna be on this side? Oh, of course not. Ah! Okay, it's gonna be on this side. It's gonna be on the opposite. Oh, two of them again. Okay, well, I got one. You're almost there. I'm almost dead too. Come on, just hit it right off the top. 
Oh, risky. Very risky. Oh, I got him. Oh, I died. Okay. Okay. Time for treat time. Uh, treat You're time. You're in for treat, all the raiders. It's time to bet on cats. Cat betting time. It's cat betting. So. Nope, nope, stay there. We have two okay. cats. You yeah. have to pick which cat you want to bet on. <laughs> Sprite is the black cat. And Atari is the gray cat. Okay. Sprite in this corner. Atari in this corner. Sprite. Woo! Atari! They are hungry for treats. So hungry. What they do is they ring the bell. First one to ten bells wins. wins. Ah, ah. Oh no. Oh, don't let them see those. They didn't see it. Good. No. Nope. Not yet. Nope. Not yet, Not cats. There yet. Another 45 seconds. All yep. good. So you can click on the predict button and figure out your, I guess, uh, what do you call it? An over under? over under? The over under on Sprite and Atari. How many? It, Sprite, it, a little younger, a little faster. Usually wins. Often wins. But not last time. Atari, Atari just won Wait. earlier today. Yeah, there was one <sighs> fell out of my hand. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I, it I doesn't change anything. I have to disclose, Atari just ate a treat. <laughs> It's not good. Yes. It might, it might prime him for more. It could prime him. He won the last round. By one. By one. Yeah. So um, it was 10 to 9 for yes. Atari. Yeah. Now, if you get really lucky and Sprite wins by three or Atari wins by three, because a lot of people sit in the middle between Sprite and Atari, do, but you it's might all win now. the whole pot. So if you get really lucky. So. If you do, if you bet on something nobody Depends else's bet. Depends how you feel. Yeah. Depends how you feel. Since Atari won the first round, I'm going with Atari, Dan says. Yeah, okay. I, okay. ITC's sitting out this one because he won huge last time. Yes. He won because of an illegal like butt in the, the face. face. Yeah, he did. Ah. He did shove his butt in Sprite's face and then it's rang the bell. It's all legal. That's all legal. It is all legal. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's illegal. <laughs> all right. So we got about 15 seconds to place your last bets. There's, yes, if oh, you have some points, you can use them to predict by hitting the predict it's button. It's mostly on Sprite right now. Is oh, it? And it's over. Bets are closed. <laughs> bets are closed. Okay. Are you ready, cats? Sprite, over here. Atari, ready? Go. Oh, and Atari. Atari's off to the races. Out of the gate. One point for Atari. Sprite is stunned. Oh, oh, he's got his first point in. Atari's got a strong second, second point. point. Wow. He is doing exactly what he did last time. Sprite is trailing by by, oh. by a little bit. But Atari's keeping up. Oh, and now 3-2. Oh, oh, he's right he behind. He's right behind. Sprite's catching up a little bit. But Atari's keeping pace. If he can keep his strong ringing, he could keep it. Oh, but Sprite, Sprite is, is on top of it now. Right though. behind him. Right behind him. Yeah, Sprite could have used Atari's bell last round. That's true. Oh, double Atari? ring from Atari. Doesn't give him two. You have to have a. You have to eat your treat first, and then Hit you can harder. go back to ring. Oh, oh my Sprite, goodness! Atari, Sprite, Atari's hit ahead it. by two. Hit Can it. you believe it? Oh, there we go. I heard that. Atari is all over it today. He oh is my goodness! Really gunning wow. for Sprite. It's actually unbelievable. Oh, Sprite. Seven to six for Atari. He's still in the lead, and he's oh, maintaining Atari. it. Maintaining, maintaining his two-point lead. There's Sprite. Sprite, Sprite is, is catching close up behind. Now. But I think, I don't know what's going on. Atari's really, he's really... He's on the bell ringing today. And he's today. not walking away with his treat either. He, he's in the game. Yeah, he is playing to win. It is game point for Atari. And... Whoa! <gasps> Atari! By three points! <laughs> oh! By three points! Sprite was trying so hard, but he wasn't smacking the bell. It's doing Hit too it. light. Hit, Hit it. it! Oh, you're not getting it. There oh, you go. Oh, okay. Some treats. Some treats. To share. Wow, three points. Wow, Atari. Hey, pseudo graphics. Hey, pseudo graphics. So who? Good job. There was only a tiny bit bet on Atari <gasps> three plus. What? Tiny bit. Who won? Who got the big pot? Let's see. That is a big one. Atari three plus. Oh, two people did. Vitoko and Miss Nomer. Miss Nomer, thank you. Wow. 12, Way to bet. 12,000 points to split between you. They wow. won it by only putting 
74 points. Look at the return ratio. Yes, no more. <laughs> Way to go. The return ratio on that was 100... 165. 165 to 1. Wow. Holy crap. That was, that was a good bet. That was a that was very a good, good bet, bet. misnomer. <laughs> Calica says, I would totally watch a stream of just kitties getting treats. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> We'd have very fat cats if it yes, was all, only so that. true. Oh, my goodness. They would be very roly-poly kitties. So we're down to our last game now. Yes. And it is uh, the retail version of Ms. Galactopus. Wow. It's a very, very fun game. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pop this in. At Ari Octopus. Ready. There we go. Oh. Atari's on his game tonight. He is. It's because Erlen isn't here today. That's right. <laughs> Erlen never mess. sees Atari. He's supposed to be here. He's still he's still recovering. He and, is recovering, yes. Um, but he'll be back probably next episode that he is scheduled for. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. good. So, uh Ms. Galactopus. Oh, I have to switch over for you. I mean, ITC says, I have this game and it is fun. It is really fun. This is by Rick Pryor, Karyu Jimbo. <laughs> um, it is available in the Atari Age store. Uh, came out in 2020 in the retail version. Uh, Karyu Jimbo also made a very Galactopus Christmas, mm -hmm. Cosmic Canyon, Cosmic Combat, Cosmic Combat Redux, Death Voyage, A Fergal Quest Atari Box World, Galactopus, Ms. Galactopus. Yes, there are three Galactopus games. Yep. Shattered Earth, Sky Destroyer, T-Rex Simulator, and Wormhole. Nice. Go for it. What do I do again? I have to shoot the, the babies, the right? big one. But you have to shoot the babies too. But your main goal is to shoot the big, uh, uh, the Ms. Galactopus and force her up to the top of the screen. You have to shoot those babies or they will destroy your uh, shield at the bottom. Don't, don't you get hit by them either. You only get one shot at a time on this one. I hate That's... that. <laughs> eh. So you have to place them very carefully. You do get it back when you hit something, but if it goes off the top of the screen, it takes a while to come back. Galactopi. <laughs> you don't often hear, you have to shoot those babies. Shoot the babies! Aim for the babies in the game. If you don't kill the babies, you can't kill the mother. <laughs> See, if this was switched to humans, this game, it would be quite a different feel to the game. Agreed. You can't shoot the babies until they start dropping. So you can't pre-shoot the babies. I mean, some babies are terrifying. <laughs> oh, I will God. say. <laughs> Filthy things. <laughs> Filthy things. Dripping with mucus. <laughs> It's disgusting. Uh, I like cats better. <laughs> cats are still filthy, but they're manageable. They don't constantly drip mucus. <laughs> it's what you do after you kick old men. That's right. You have to shoot these as quick as possible. Oh, that was a mistake. So you have to drive these up to the top of the screen. So the longer you take, the more it resets. Oh, one more. Quick. Oh, almost. Almost. Ah, oh, waited too long. Yeah, you don't want to miss on this level. You don't move too fast at the bottom. Oh, you're taking too long to get them up to the top. No, so hard. Yep. Babies are like shrunken humans. Incompetent, dripping. Oh, I had to hit it twice. Two hits now. <gasps> no. Oh, you got the mother. Oof, yeah, you got to be careful on this one. It's more tactical, this level. Nice. Accidental hit. Warning. Warning. <laughs> They're pre-treat balling. The treat ball is loose. Oh, we'll do the treat ball before my turn on this game. Okay. Because who triggered it? Crypto Coffee. Hey, thank you, Crypto. Yeah, we get to experiment and... Oh, you get to recall your bullet? No, you don't. No, you do not. Um, we have changed the treat ball game. Trying to refine it. Oh, good hits. Good hits. Only hit him twice. Oh, went the bonus round. <sighs> Shoot as quick as possible. Oh, no. Not the bonus yet. No, I, I, I think I need another round before the bonus round. Oh, 
Well, you can't recall it. Are you sure? No. No, you can't. You have to hit something. I swear. So for the treat ball game, the cats haven't run in. I guess I didn't hear them. Um, for the treat ball game, we've expanded the play field and we've reduced the balls down from two to one. Last game, we had two play, two small play fields and we had two balls, one for each cat. But that proved way too confusing to, for us to keep track of. Um, so now we have one big play field and one ball. And it should be easier because there will only be one treat at a time being dispensed. Um, but I expect one cat will be on the ball, which is Atari, and Sprite will try and steal the treats, mostly. And that's fine. It's about who eats the treats. There, that's how yeah, it's done. That's how you do the bonus round. Now they're wiggly, wiggly ones. Satisfying bleep. Oh, there's some satisfying sounds in this game. -lee 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 -lee. That's a great sound. I'm a little afraid of doing the sounds in my game. They're going to be probably temporary ones for Friday. So I'll be like, can I get any kind of beep out of the 2600? Oh, oh. it's okay. Your shield's very good still. You are concentrating on killing the babies. So, it is all about killing babies. So you're you're doing well. You're not. You you pu can you pull your shots. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway. Sometimes you can, but sometimes you can't. I think you can Maybe. pull your shots. Like you're pulling them too much when you're shooting the babies. Maybe. Sound shouldn't be too hard for you to learn. Oh, that's encouraging. Excellent, Carl. Thank you. It doesn't look too bad because there's only like th three parameters. There's volume, there's sound type, oh, and there is pitch. So there's only three. Um, and I'm going to play with TIA Tracker to do the music in my game. Um, but I'll have to look for a good resource for kind of sounds that other people have done that'll help me uh, just at least put some default sounds in and then I can manipulate them later. Keep it as no says, this game looks awesome. Never heard of it. It, it is, is a little bit older of a game. Super fun. It's four years old. It's not that old, but no, it's, it's really, fun. really good shooter. And of course, since it has like multiple levels, uh, multiple types of levels, like this is different than the main one. As long as you move directly over to it and don't miss, you'll be fine in this level. That's a bit, that's a bit tough. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The problem is it gets faster and faster and then it gets... Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> you have to get it in the first round or you're kind of stuck. ITC says, yeah, I think I picked up mine at PRG 2019. Let me Do see. I have no, no barrier now? Oh, what happened to your barrier? It disappeared. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. You got punished? I don't know. Because oh. he hit my barrier? Maybe I'm... It shouldn't have killed your whole... Oh, you know what? The barrier isn't height yep, of dead. barrier. It's color of barrier. It's black now. Yeah. It's done. So it goes from blue... No, no, no. You don't sorry? get to play again. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's treat ball time. Uh, treat ball. Treat ball time. The painted lips are awesome. Oh, they <laughs> I are. like the They're painted so lips. so good. Satisfying bleep. Yes. Okay, so let's get out the treat ball. The cat should start running. <laughs> Just gotta put these in there. That gets them running. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't can know if you, you guys that? can hear that. Get the <laughs> box? Scrabbling down the stairs. Just one. Yep. Just one. One big box this time. Just one cat. Oh, just one. Cat. Where's the gray cat? What happened to the gray cat? I think this guy scared the gray cat. I think so. Did you scare? 
Okay, let's reset the points. So are we oh, putting there he is. a certain number? Are we putting 10 in? Uh, no, you have to put more than 10 in. How many? Um, well, 19 minimum. 19? Well, no, it could be 9 minimum, or 10 minimum. Okay. Somewhere between 10 and 19. 19 will cover all the bases. Just put a bunch in. We can take it away from them. It is cat pong time. It's 14. Do you want 13 so that it's an, an odd just, number? No, just put them all in because okay. it's first to 10. Oh, first. First to 10, just like the other game. I would just put them all in. Or a lot. Yeah. Oh, sprites in the box. Sprites out of the box. Okay, cats. <laughs> <laughs> so so select. <laughs> yeah, they have to be the right size. There's some partial ones. I would open it the all end. the way so that we can yeah. get through it pretty quick. Yeah, I closed it. Or like almost all the way. Maybe one off all the way. Right, kitties. Turn it upright so that they all don't the fall. Way out. Or just like just slightly. slightly not all the way. Okay. Okay, you ready? Cat ball, cat ball. Ready? Puck in the middle. Go! You have to watch carefully. It's very hard to tell. Well, you'll see it when they eat. Oh, oh Atari won. Atari gets one. There's no betting on this because we don't know how this is going to play out. Sprite is really scared of it for some reason. He's very timid. He'll learn. No, he won't. <laughs> no, he won't. Atari will just bully him, bully his way in. Two. That's well, still an experiment. Might be a very big over under here. <laughs> yeah. And then it, he gets back out. He's so scared. <laughs> oh, he got oh, one. Oh, sorry, those three, three for Atari. Yeah, three for Atari. Sprite. Get it. Get it. Come on. Get it. He's so scared of it. Yeah, because he doesn't have his own. Might have to go to two balls. Oh, four for Atari. Oh, my God. Oh, another four. one came out. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There's tons of them. Okay, how many are you going to eat? Sprite. Get them. Get in there. Get in there, Sprite. Oh my goodness. Five. Oh, oh one, one for, for Sprite. Sprite. Another one for Atari. Two for Atari. Well, uh, well, there's a partial one. Yeah, another okay. one at least. You're going to tell me every time he eats No, because it broke in half. Yeah, but just... Oh, okay. We'll stay at six then. Yeah, stay Good. at six. Get it. Yeah. Come on, Sprite. Get in there. Don't be so timid. This is a new game for them, so... Yeah, Sprite is not quite sure. Oh, Atari got one. Another one fell out there. Okay. Sprite got that one. Okay, okay good. Another one for He's Sprite. He's learning. He's learning. We've got a five-point spread now. We can work with this. He's batting at Go, it. Oh, Atari. Okay, eight for Atari. Sprite's getting in there. He's becoming less timid. Another one for Sprite. Good. I like it. He's like, <laughs> They're like, all no. looking around. <laughs> oh, another one for Atari. Is that game point now? Yeah. Oh, another one for Atari. And he's won. Yay. So what do I do? Just dump the rest of them in? Yeah, if there's not too many. There you go. Go cats, go. <laughs> so I think it's doable. Sort of, but I feel like Sprite is really scared of the ball. I think he's he's like, he, he lets Atari use it. He yes. doesn't want to interfere with Atari. He doesn't want to get smacked by Atari. <laughs> 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 They're so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's possible, but Atari seems to be taking the lead. We'll keep trying. You're coddling him. I, I don't. It, maybe I. I. It's just that uh, with the bell, Sprite gets the bell. Like, gets his own he's bell. He's very aggressive with it, but with the ball, he's a little bit scared. Like he's we a can, little bit unsure. We can try two balls in there. Yeah. I, but he still may be like, I'm not getting in there. It's fun, but maybe better, better without, without the competition. competition. Like maybe don't make it a game. Just have okay. them chase the treat ball. I okay. think it's just cuter if they chase the treat ball. Around. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem to work as a game. It's not very competitive. No. Sprite just wants to let him get the ball, right? No. Like, yeah. 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 All right, guys. General cuteness. Well, it can still general be done for general cuteness. cuteness. Yes. 
We have no issue with giving them the ball and having them oh, just batted yeah. around. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you, Crypto Coffee, Yay. for uh, triggering that. Yeah, Hope you enjoyed. treat ball time. The kitties. Okay. I feel like it's not a competitive game. Not like the bells. The bells are 100% cat competition. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's see how I can do in this. Okay, I'm going to just wash my hands. I'll be right back. You can recall the bullet anytime you like. That's how you do it. Huge bonus points. So you have to get Ms. Galactopus. That is your main goal. The babies are just like a, her, her, like her bullets. And her defense and offense. They act as both. Oh. There we go. Good. Killed two. Killing those babies. Killed two Ms. Galactopuses. Get those Galactopus babies. They're trouble. <laughs> they are trouble. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, very satisfying sounds in this game. They're really good. Oh, forgot it's twice. There is a pattern to kind of shooting in between the yep. babies. And sometimes it's just luck, but um Oh you got That's how you good do it. Good job! You just have to shoot the, the mother. Tons, yeah. tons. So you get two rounds of this. Actually maybe you don't get hurt when they touch you. That you don't get hurt. You don't. But if you don't shoot them, they will yeah. Get to your barrier, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the red lipstick and the bow. It's so good. So Very good. Very Ms. Pac-Man. Very Ms. everything, yeah. yeah. Huge bonus points! Don't get any lives. I think you might get your shield back at some point, maybe? I'm very lucky with the distance. Well, when they're close to each really other. You got really bad luck with well, the distance. Well, sometimes they just pop up really far away from each other. At, actually, in successive rounds, that they get harder. It's like, doot, doot, doot. They get harder, like for sure. Yeah. yeah. Rendered Ghost, if you're still in the chat, what were you playing? Oh, on Twitch? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Good question. Oh, <laughs> well, that's, sometimes there's delay. He might, yeah. He might be gone or doing something else. Because yeah. after you do a stream, it's like... Oh, yeah. It's, Tunes! Uh, Friday Night Industrial Electronic Whatever DJ Night. Nice! Nice! That is, that is a good uh, good choice for a Friday night. It is. Oons, oons. I'm going to have to check out your channel. I like a good music... Music, music mix. mix stream yeah. nightclub in the middle of your living room That's kind right. of a home night Twitch club. night we do that a lot actually we yeah, have a few yeah. people we listen to and that's right usually after our shows we'll put on some uh djs yep i find it really good to find new music with it is actually you, i 
Like, I, I find streaming services, I have a hard time finding new stuff, and it's the DJs that find you new music. So. Yeah, because when yeah. you listen to your mix, it just keeps serving you the same artists over and over, and I'm like, oh, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <gasps> You're down to nothing. Polygox, do you like Frontline Assembly? Does he like Frontline Assembly? I went to Frontline, we went to Frontline I Assembly <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, dead. Uh, a lot, uh, and Render Ghost also likes Frontline Assembly. They were playing. They were playing with Ministry and Gary Newman in Vancouver. It uh, was an amazing lineup. It was a great show. Oh my God! It was a great Ministry show. Ministry and Gary Newman destroyed. Gary Newman was fantastic. So good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah really good. Jealous. Yeah. yeah, they're on tour right now. All three of them are on tour together. Yeah, worth seeing if they're in. Oh my God. Swing by wherever you are. So yeah. Yeah, travel, travel to see them. Yeah. So good. <laughs> it was a very good show. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, stickers are coming uh, off. Fridays eight to ten. Oh. Five to seven PST. So a little oh, bit earlier. Just before okay. the show. Well, we'll have to catch you Hi, baby. when when you have Airland in the middle of the day, so we can watch oh, Red yes. Ghosts rather yep. than it conflict with That's time. Right. So, so are you done? I died. Oh, didn't do too bad. It's not too great, but not too bad. Mm. So I think uh, it's eight o'clock, two hours in. I think we're done for the night. Yes. A uh, great set of mm -hmm. games. Um, so what? Uh, 1942, Xevious, oh. Roshan Space, Miss Galactopus, so much fun. Uh, great they're set of shooters. They're all fantastic. Do you have a favorite amongst the four? I mean, they're obviously all your favorites, but well, is there like one the, that stands out for you? I like you? the genre. Yes. And these are the best of the genre. Yes. In uh, some of the best of the genre on the 2600. <sighs> they're all so different. I mean, I like Roach in Space for the super amount of variety of enemies. Okay. I love Xevious for the sheer beautifulness of the graphics. I think it, it's executed beautifully. Oh, it's for a shooter, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. 1942, because nostalgia bait for me. Yeah. Um, and it's just a great shooter. Yeah. With like a good pattern of um, planes all over the place, coming from the bottom, coming from the top. Mm. There's different types of planes, the bosses. And I love this one because it's just pure arcade playability it increases it gets faster it gets harder yeah and it's got a great mechanics the mechanics in this are so good of the babies are defense and offense yeah and you have to shoot around them and get get the galactopus and that's yeah. all for points and yeah. then you have that shield at the bottom so for mechanics i love this game i i i think of the four i think this is my favorite game really and i think it's the gameplay of it because it's gameplay, it starts yeah. slow enough that you can get into it right away it doesn't yes. feel too overwhelming it's got a great but ramp then up. it ramps up and you're like ah, you know you're overwhelmed really quickly i think it's a beautiful game i i just like the mechanic of it the, sound the other is games great. are also absolutely fantastic oh, yeah, yeah. Um, again, 1942, the sound on that is amazing. Music and sound, I just yeah. love the music and the sound on that. Um, they're all great, great games, but there's something about this that is so, um, Pure. quirky. Yeah. The Galactopus game. It is quirky. Shooting the babies of the crazy, you know, octopus. I just, there's something lovely about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cubanismo likes Xevious, Polygox. Miss Galactopus for the painted lips. Yeah. What about everybody else? I should have put on my red lipstick tonight. I, oh, I, if I, I had you didn't know thinking, which. Yeah. If I'd been thinking, I would have put on some some red lipstick just so I could dress up as Mrs. Uh, <laughs> Miss Galactopus. Miss Galactopus. There you go. There's your Halloween that, costume. I was going to say that's fantastic. <laughs> I'll just get some purple Pretty legs. obscure. A big red bow and some red lips. That's fantastic. I like that idea. Still, yeah. one year I want to go as Gary Oldman from The Fifth Element. Oh, yes. Yes. Got this hair. Yes. I just have to dye it black. <gasps> I'm not going to go as Lilu. Put the uh, <laughs> piece of... Yes. No, I can go as the opera <laughs> singer and go all blue with Ooh, the, the... Yeah. The big braids. I'm not really big into the... To the, the I'm <laughs> past... I'm past my bandage wrap um, bikini, you know, <laughs> um, days. But uh, yeah, the blue, the blue uh, opera singer would be pretty awesome. <laughs> yep. Do it, says Cuban Hispo. I think, yeah, you got to do the Gary Oldman from The Fifth Element. I oh, do want to, to do Fifth that. The Fifth Element theme, that's fantastic. Yes. I like that. I like that. The, the diva. diva. Thank you. I couldn't think of the That's name. Right. Yeah, that would be really good. <laughs> then you have to take a big piece of stone out of your stomach. <laughs> it's like, why was it I there? could just carry it around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. It, it, somebody put that in her stomach, yet her getting shot killed her. 
what? <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't really bear thinking about. Yeah, don't think how yeah, it got there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But she was protecting it. Oh, it's yeah. a. I, Cubanismo. It's one of my favorite movies too. Oh, mine too. It's so weird, quirky, and, and beautiful and fantastic. Nothing's explained. It's like why is this? Why is this yeah. this way? You don't need to know. Just yeah, go with it. It's film. just the world is like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so perfect. Yeah. That, that movie is ten out of ten. Absolutely perfect. Mm. I mean, I'm not. Not super happy with the love story. It's silly, as most love stories in movies are. Um, but everything else is 100% absolutely perfect in that film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish Valerian had been as Yeah, good. I did watch Valerian. I can't, can't rem I can't remember very much about it, unfortunately, because it wasn't that good. Um, Double down, dress up one of the cats. Cats is Gary Holman's alien. Just yeah. put them in a plastic bodysuit so they can't even barely move. Oh, no. Nose on them. They're like, oh. <laughs> they oh. still manage to push the who pushed is they push the glass off the table what does the little thing do it just sits there doesn't it gary oldman no he pushes the glass gary oldman pushes the glass off the table I don't and then this. robots come out and sweep it up. oh yes yes yeah. yes the robots yeah yeah poll results are long gone <laughs> oh wait no they're still here uh, I mean, they haven't changed much. 31% for trailer or premise. There you go. That draw people in. That's why they still make trailers. Yep. It works because Bruce Willis, yes. Bruce Willis is yeah. amazing in that. He's yeah. the perfect balance between action hero and comedy. Yes. Which he does well in a he, lot he of... He balances it really well, yeah. yeah which yeah. He's, he did well in a lot of his films. Like yeah. Die Hard, <laughs> comedy and action. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Um, so coming up on the show, we have uh, some unbelievable things. If you didn't hear it off the top, I'll go over it again. Um, next show, we're going to be playing tabletop games. A whole bunch of uh, great tabletop games. Mm. Uh, those are the things that are that big, and they have little joysticks, and they display things I'm very by excited for that. lighting up different things on the screen. It's going to be interesting to capture it too, but yeah. yeah I, I'm pretty confident. I've seen things online of other people capturing. It looks great. Okay, good. Good. Um, and then the show after that is you get to see my game that I've Yay! been working on for the past month. Friday. Yeah. I'm off. Yep. It's it's good Friday. It is. It's going to be a very good Friday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have Course Blade, the exclusive world premiere of that as well. Show after that Exclusive world premiere of the new Lynx game by Nop90, Impossible Mission. Yeah. Tanya will be on that one. I'm so excited. Then the show after that, the exclusive world premiere of Zark Stars 5. What? Stellar. Five? We're up to five now. We're up to five. Wow. Yep. Those guys. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. So a whole bunch of four exclusive world premieres in the next bunch of shows Excellent. and the fun tabletop special as well. Render Ghost, I didn't even know there was a new Beetlejuice. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Really? Is yeah. there a trailer for it or I don't know. Did if they teaser? A teaser or trailer? I haven't heard about that yet. Yep, and get in on the AVC games that Dan puts on. There is the nice. link for everyone to nice. put some scores in there. Uh what? Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, I just Beetlejuice. They, there have been fake posters for decades about that. Oh, really? Of Winona Ryder and just with fake Beetlejuice too, and oh, now yeah. it's actually happening. Oh, really? Is Don't Winona know. Ryder in it? Uh, yeah. <gasps> and what's his face is Beetlejuice? Uh, uh yeah. Um, no, can't remember. That guy. Uh. <laughs> Batman. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody else, like. Is what's, coming back what's for his it? face is Baldwin? Probably, Probably not. Probably not. Be in it. I think he's he's, <laughs> he's, on, he's embroiled in hiding in right some now and he's issues in right court. Uh, oh, Jenny Ortega, Catherine O'Hara oh, is back. Oh, wonderful. Good. Okay, teaser is dropped. Keaton. Keaton, Michael thank Keaton. you. Yeah. Thank you. O'Hara. Really? Oh, nice. Oh, that that's should be good. Very exciting. I'd I'd watch it just for Catherine O'Hara. <laughs> I do like so Catherine O'Hara, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she is really good. Yeah. Um no Baldwin, no Davis. Gina Davis. Yeah, okay. No Gina Davis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, they oh, were well. they were the original ghosts, right? So maybe yeah. they maybe they moved on. They went to the ethereal plane. I can't yeah. remember what happens at the end. I'm sure they. Oh, uh, that's true. They they move on. Yeah. Right. They don't need to haunt the house anymore. Maybe at the end. Winona Ryder's the new ghost. Who knows? Oh, that's possible. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't I haven't seen the teaser, so. Yeah. 
That's kind of exciting. I, pr I probably yeah. won't watch the teaser because I probably will watch the new movie. I might watch it just to see if I want to watch the new movie. So uh, Jeffrey Jones. Yeah. Is he back in films? Yeah, is he? <laughs> he was disgraced for... Oh, he was. He was a bad, bad man. Uh, I don't know if he's anybody's given him a second chance in films or not. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah. Uh, Dan AVC, Double Down. It's Kev. <laughs> what about the guy that played the decorator? Was he a big role? I don't remember. I don't know. Um, rendered Ghost, Cubanismo, Vitoco. Um, Polygox. Polygox. Crypto, crypto Coffee. Carl G. Ivory Tower Collections. Rendered Ghost, of course. Thank you for raiding. Yes, thank you. Oh, which reminds me, we need to raid as well. Let me... Uh... Cyrano is in there too. Hey, Cyrano. Um, Miss Nomer, congrats Calica. on the win. Uh, Mad Doggy. Mad Doggy, welcome to all those raiders that came over. Vognog as well. S Puerto Rico and Puerto Rican hottie. Um, who else? Rod Castler. Wow. Ro Crunchy, Crunchy the, the clown. clown. Tons of chatter. Lots tonight. of people Al today. Nefer. Excellent. It's and great all having the people here. who were lurking. Yeah. So let's see. Any uh, retro enough games? No. Atari Beer Pong is usually playing, but. Um, oh, somebody's playing Burger Time. That's arcade. Uh, arcade Burger Time. That might be a good one to go to. Let's see. Who else? Any suggestions? We're always open. Oh, some. Oh, what is this? That looks interesting. Dreamcast? Let's go there. When does that it say? does it says Dreamcast, but they're playing some black and white uh British looking computer yeah. game. We're gonna go for that one. That uh, should be interesting. Turbo graphics I prefer not to be redirected anywhere, to be honest. That's, that's fine. <laughs> well you can always jump ship. <laughs> yep. Um so thanks for hanging out with us and we'll be back on Tuesday. Mm. And we'll report back about our Martin Scorsese Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will see you then. Hang on for the raid. Yes. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, yeah. everyone. Bye.